Good evening. Welcome parents, teachers, guests, and congratulations graduates. Class of 2014, our time has finally come. I will forewarn you that public speaking is not my best quality, so please bear with me. Who would have thought that the past four years we spent together would go by so fast? I know everybody always says this, but it really does seem like it was just yesterday when we were all starting the ninth grade. But fast forward through the ups and downs of sophomore and junior year, and finally we've made it to the infamous senior year. From senior portraits and riverboat wides to prom and senior days, we have been through a lot, just about everything together. And because of that, I think it's safe to say that we are not just a class, we're a family. We've laughed and cried together and supported and motivated each other. I am proud to be a part of this exceptional group of people. Now that our days together are coming to an end, it's time to stop reminiscing on the past and start focusing on our future. Believe me, I know the futures are uncertain. We don't know what's coming or what to expect, and that can be a little scary. But as Bill Cosby once said, in order to succeed, your desire for success should be greater than your fear of failure. I know each and every one of you has a dream, and I encourage you to chase it, wholeheartedly, without fear, and completely confident in yourselves. Go out and be the neurosurgeons, elementary school teachers, architects, nurses, doctors, engineers, basketball, soccer, and baseball players that you want to be because you can do it and you deserve it. I believe in every single one of you and I have faith that you will all make me proud. But for right now, enjoy this day. It's the one we've been waiting for for a very long time. We are finally graduating high school. Go out and have fun. Enjoy this last summer we have together. Thank you, class of 2014, for all the wonderful memories you've left me with. And please always remember that you are braver than you believe stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Congratulations again on our special day. And now we will hear from our other co-valedictorian, Ms. Hannah Vanderhey. Good evening. I would like to welcome all graduates, family, friends, faculty, staff, board members and dignitaries to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2014 from Brubaker Technology Manet High School. I would also like to thank you all for attending today's graduation ceremony and for supporting each student throughout his or her high school journey. A recent study has been conducted by the Harder Leadership Foundation that deals with media influence on today's youth. I came across this statistic that really applied to my freshman year self. It claimed that 66% of all children surveyed said that their peers and they are influenced by TV shows. I agree. During the summer of my transition from middle school to high school, I had an expectation of what high school was going to be like. It wasn't until I got to Brew Tech that I realized that TV portrays the ideal viewpoint of high school living, not a realistic viewpoint. I expected to go to Friday night football games with my friends and to paint our faces in our school colors while we yelled score six. Well, Brew Tech has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night basketball where you yell score two or three. I also expected having 20 minutes between each class to talk to my friends and make my way calmly to my next period. At Brew Tech, you may have at the most 30 seconds to charge through the hallways to go from Mr. Deermeyer's class all the way to Mr. Ballard's class, which is at the opposite end of campus. Did I mention that over 500 kids go to Brew Tech? They add yet another obstacle in between classes. I also expected to see and laugh at my fellow classmates being shoved into lockers by upperclassmen and to celebrate the day when they became upperclassmen and were to shove those below them into those same lockers. That dream was crushed when I came to the realization that Brutech doesn't have lockers. <laughs> These and many more expectations that came from media held me back from enjoying my first few months of high school. It wasn't until I realized that the things that are special to Brutech and not the things that television illustrates as special are the things that really make high school the best four years of your life. I wasn't expecting having to sit in my fifth period class during Brew Tech for the rest of the year because one of my classmates decided to climb the roof of school during lunch and quack at others who walked by. I wasn't expecting conflict at Brew Tech to be resolved by slapping each other with hot dogs. I wasn't expecting that the only marketing techniques Brew Tech could come up with were to rap about how you could get your jerky here or get nachos by the case. I definitely wasn't expecting to be called to the Brutech courtyard to watch our principal try her hardest to kiss a real-life horse that just wasn't in a very affectionate mood. 
I also wasn't expecting to meet a classmate that lived her life to the fullest and had it taken away without any warning. I wasn't expecting it to impact the senior class at Brew Tech as much as it did. I wasn't expecting it, I wasn't expecting her to give us hope. These are the things that television has no knowledge of. These are the things that made the class of 2014's journey at Brew Tech unexpectedly memorable. From personally witnessing all these unexpected memories, this is what I have to lead to the graduating class. Become less detached to the likelihood of any expectation and you'll find stress will lift from your shoulders. My stress was lifted when I finally accepted the fact that I would never be able to date the star full football player at Brew Tech because unlike I expected, there was no football team. <laughs> so unexpectedly, I fell for a baseball player. As you make your way to the next part of your journey, remember that the things that impact you the most are the things unexpected. Don't live in an expectation for the future. Rem remember that there's only one, only one moment you should live in. There's only one moment that you should put all your energy, thought, and faith in. That moment is right now. Thank you. And at this time, it's my privilege and pleasure to introduce our principal, Mrs. April Lee. Superintendent Allen, board members, distinguished central office, staff, families, friends, Thank you for joining us this evening and thank you for providing support and guidance that has fostered the success of these fine young men and women. I would also like to take a moment to thank our teachers for an outstanding year as well as our classified staff for all they do to keep Brew Tech one of the best high schools in our great state and in our great country. Graduates of the class of 2014, I am proud to stand before you this evening and present your high school diploma from Brubaker Technology Magnet High School. It is your many years and dedication to academics that ranks Brutech Magnet High and above most schools. As I reflect and have reflected on all I've watched you experience and anticipated this day, I've thought a lot about what I could say to you at your graduation. Over the past few weeks, I've noticed and watched as you together have, uh, have celebrated successes Shared, in your shared your feelings with your friends about graduation and even discussed your fears and excitement about your future in college. You're finishing one story and beginning anew. If it were within my power to tell you what the story looks like, I would, but I can't. All I can do is share with you things I've learned as my story continues to unfold. I hope graduates in some way, this may help your story unfold and become the greatest story ever told for each of you. So here goes. Believe in yourself. Don't let your fears overwhelm your desires. Find your passion. If you've not found your passion, you will. And once you find it, follow it. You will not find your passion in things or in money. Take control of your life. As your story unfolds, the first thing you should do is throw away a map that anyone else has prepared for you. Design and draw your own map. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living out someone else's dream for you. 
act. Don't wait to be invited. Create your own opportunities, graduates. Life will happen to you, whether you got it or not. So you might as well try to influence the outcome. Follow your heart. The key is to listen to your heart and let it carry you in the direction of your dreams. Set your sights high as you have already and achieve your dreams and do it all with integrity, character, and most importantly, love. And lastly, give back. Be generous. If you want happiness for an hour, take a nap. <laughs> but if you want happiness forever and for a lifetime, help someone that is less fortunate than you. Make a difference. So with all this in mind, graduates, take time to dream big as dreams help you do great things, big and small. Continue to learn, be curious, be open to others whose interests differ from yours, and learn something new every day. Take responsibility for your successes and for your failures. Be resilient. Learn from your mistakes and take time to celebrate your accomplishments. In conclusion, and most importantly, as you sit together as a class for the very last time, I encourage you to focus on what you have learned and accomplished inside and outside of school. Use this knowledge and experience to your advantage as it will continue to help you live your best story. Congratulations, and remember, once a ram, always a ram. Students, get ready to receive your diplomas.
Good evening. My name is Calvin Simmons. I am the Advertising Design Instructor. With great pleasure, I would like to introduce the students graduating from my academy. When I call your name, please step forward. Daniel Benjamin Davis. Jalen Edward Davis. Sydney Nicole Glimp. Larry P. Gracie. Shakteria Hartwell. Olandria Janae Jones. Brittany Kiana King. Diamond J. Long. Rena Elaine Miller. Tyree Moore. Felicia Shante Pleasure. Taja Monet Privet. Casey Danielle Robinson. Caesar Antonio Sarmento. Michaela Joylene Smith. Samaria Adriel Thornton. Good evening. I'm Roberta Ludwigson, aerospace engineering instructor, and I have the pleasure of presenting our first year graduates. Joshua Lane Glass. Cornelius Terrell Madison. Brandon Aldridge Sewell. Good evening. I'm Vera Onjakova. I teach Architectural Design Academy, and here are the students graduating from the Architectural Design Academy. Brittany Daniel Booker. Kendra Lachey Davis. Adagio Ravante Glover. Justin Graham. Erin Alana Hughes. Jamie April Johnson. <laughs> Noah Christopher Lebier. <laughs> Michael Baxter Mosley. Jaya Siobhan Pringle.
Stephen Michael Rogers. Emily Caitlin Sawyer. Charles Edward Shipman II. Yes, Keith Bradley Williams. John Wesley Woodham. Good evening, I'm Wayne Walters with the Building Science Academy and I'd like to present our 2014 Building Science Academy graduates. Timothy Wade Bannister. Jaquiel M. Boswell. Kimberly Addie Nicole Bush. Jasmine Chang. James Edwards Daniels. Danielle Chase Fitzgerald. Anthony Walker Glasgow II. Kendall Lee Jarrett. Jasmine Sophia Johnson. Theodore William Kenny. Jason Lee. Jamon D. McCall. Taylor Grant Nicholson. Devontae Oliver. James Wyatt Parton. Owen Nelson Reese III. Daniel Riley Jr. Savannah Diane Robinson. Corey Tramell Taylor. Truett we read Williams. Good evening, I'm Michael Ball, and this is the 2014 e-commerce academy graduates. Madison Elizabeth Arnold. Deja Monique Calloway. Jasmine D. Carson. Andre Dion Cole. Woo! 
Rachel Rebecca Comer. Jasland D. Cunningham. Jaquana Monique Davenport. Precious Apega. Shakivia Kwana Fitz. Taisha Chantel Hall. Jordan Jamila Ivy. Labracia Janae Jackson. Brashay S. Johnson. Taylor Brianna Jordan. Kayla Delane Kelly. Bailey Elizabeth Klepik. Brady Maria Lewis. Ashley Morgan Lockett. Tia Brianna Martin. Savannah Scott Mashburn. Tysia Misum. Sharolyn uh, Renee Parker. <laughs> Tiffany Maria Pitt. Allison Kennedy Poe. <laughs> Deria Riley. <laughs> Anthony Gerard Satterwhite the second. Razik Montrell Smith. Thomas Alexander Smith. Jasmine D. Snow. Zaria Alexandria Stevenson. Valerie L. Searles. Kelly Marie Till. <laughs> T. 
Tiara Lawanda Wells. Samuel Albert Willoughby. Kenita Deshawn Wright. Good evening, my name is Steve Ballard and it's a great pleasure for me to introduce the 2014 graduates from the Engineering Academy. Ashraf Ali. Victoria Lynn Holton. Connor James Nance. Hi, my name is John Kennedy, and I'll be presenting to you the IT class of 2014. To Darius Alexander. Morgan Arnold. Quentin Askew. Josh Cordova. Kiera Daniels. Pete Gordon. Jaden Hung. Stephen Hubbard. Henry Huffman. Amik Kamkin. Jalen Levitt. Dijon Louder. Brian McKenzie. Thaddeus Mobley. Jonathan Nettles. Sydney Parker. Bamika Patel. Jacqueline Pugh. Jordan Robinson. Rico Thomas. Emmanuel Uzachuku. Good evening. I'm Diane Young, and I'll be introducing the Medical Academy class of 2014. Amber Nicole Anderson. Megan Catherine Bailey. Oh 
Tierra Monique Blanding. Kristen Michelle Butler. Leslie Jolyn Cooper. Simone Selena Davis. Keandra Jeray Davis. Haley Louise Dees. Lindsay Janae Delane. April Noel Gilbert. Dejanae Ariel Latrice Hill. Zanae Latoya Howard. Javaris Humphreys. Gerald Thomas Franklin Irvine. Sierra Monet Jackson. Alicia Ventrice Johnson. Meldriana Lastanzia Kelly. Coacherbet B. Caldendi. Alandria Janae Lane. Marianne Ada McGee. Kiana Michelle McGee. Rihanna Lee Misseldine. Melissa Alex Nestor. Kirsten Taylor Owens. Demetrius L. T. Rugley. Rhonda Hilmi Salome. Brianna E. Seals. Jordan Alexa Stapleton. Deja Lynn Trammell. Savannah Lee Tootin. Selena Bella Unich. Hannah Julian Vanderhey. Erin Simone Wallace. A. 
Adrian Danielle Winslow. I will now announce the undeclared class of 2014. Noah Elijah Burke. Juliet Rianne Harp. Sadia A. Muhammad. Mallory Alyssa Tadlock. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the class of 2014.